All right, Chapter 1 of the Training Circular 5588-1. Chapter 1, Rules for Inspection Testing Movement of Locomotives. Taking charge of the locomotive, inspectors are joint responsible for the engineers for the condition of the brake equipment over the, on the locomotive to the extent of the most possible defective equipment by the required inspection testing. The engineer takes charge of the locomotive someplace other than the crew changes. Changes the location the, um, below must be known um, before each of the trip and the day works before the locomotive is moves. You moved. Brakes are in safe and suitable considered and conditions. So the air hose are properly connected. Jumper cables are properly um, positioned. Safety chain and walkway platforms are properly placed. Doors and windows on trailing um, locomotive units are closed. Brake valves and electrical switches on all locomotive units are properly positioned for multiple unit operations. See chart 1A and chart 1B, pages 1, 4, and 1, 5. Air gauges are re re registering correctly that the main reserve pressure gauges indicate the max minimum pressure of each of the following. 120 PSI for 825 PSI passenger service. Cooling system and engine governors like gla sight glasses indicate the proper fuel at level speed. Indicator alert if equipped with the work is sealed. Headlight bells and horns are working order. Condensation has been drained from the air brake system. Automatic drain valve are functioning, uh, functioning properly. A stand locomotive air test. The standing locomotive air test, see rule 1-2, uh, must be performed on the mechanical forces are not duty. When, uh, when mechanical forces are not on duty, an engineer takes change with the charge of the, uh, of the locomotive at the beginning of the workday when the locomotive has been shut down. Handbrakes are released on all locomotive units for the consist. If the locomotive is dis um, dispatched with a non-functioning dynamic brake, a written notice must be placed on the engineer's control stand with the control and cab. The standing of the dynamic brake is cut out. On the units involved with the dynamic brake cutout switches must be properly tagged. Locomotive units which are required to shut down the outside location whenever the no, um, no mechanical employees are available to be started by the engineer and an engine that has been shut down for more than eight hours must be pre from before turnover. If the engine is equipped for the flashcock, T handles the flashcocks must be open. The engine, the, the engine must be also turned over the least one revolution. The flashcocks closed prior to the starting in case the rain, severe, severe snow considered conditions, ambient temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the engine has been shut down for at least four hours. The engine will, engineer will need to conduct the same operations as described above. Arch 1, chart 1A, multiple unit operation. All right, you have your location on the unit services, um, control levels. Controlling unit throttle position idle. Um, controlling unit uh, selector dynamic brake lever in the off position. Reverse position current center until ready. Switches and brakes. Uh, engine run switch on. Generator field switch off. Control fuel pump on. Um, dynamic brake cutout if equipped on. Dynamic control circuit breaker equipped if uh, if on. Any controlling unit warning device circuit breaker. Um, on. This is in your multiple unit operation. Man's control, man, the man control, man controlling unit. Throttle idle position, dynamic brake lever off, the center until ready. Engine run switch on, generator field switch off, um, control fuel pump on, dynamic brake cutout if equipped on, dynamic brake cutout circuit breaker if equipped on, warning device circuit breaker on. Trailing unit, idle throttle position idle, dynamic braking lever off, the center until ready, on or off running engine running switch, off field generation, on or off control fuel pump, on or off brake or quick brake cutout equipment, on or off dynamic brake cutout circuit breaker, warning device circuit breaker off. Alright, 1B, multiple units, multiple units, location units um, in service, automatic brake valve and independent brake valve. Controlling unit has a 24RL brake valve handling position running um, and 26C release, 30A CDW brake valve cutout position, cutout cock position, in cock in, cut in, brake valve handle position in the independent brake valve applied and released, and brake valve cutout cock position in the controlling unit is cut in. All right, um, man control the unit with the locomotive located in the position other than in the head end. Your 24 RL running with the brake valve handling position. Um, 26 C release 30A CDW also the brake valve handling position or the automatic brake valve. Brake valve cut out cock position cut out and independent brake valve applied or released on the brake valve handle position applied or released. Brake valve cut out cock cut in for independent brake valves. All right, training unit, trailing unit removed if if a removable brake valve handle um, removed if removable. 
Break valve cut out, cock all out, uh, cut out, and release brake valve handle in the independent brake and released, and the um, brake valve cut out, the cock position is cut out. All right, rule one, two, standing locomotive of the air brake test. It must be known that the air head test has been performed. Locomotive is the start of the taking charge of the locomotive units other than the rear locomotive that are set out. The locomotive of the unit is picked up. The locomotive is to be operated beyond the terminal war. It has been performed on the locomotive of the air brake equipment. The locomotive consists of the rearranged locomotives are placed in multiple unit operations. A standing locomotive of air brake air test when test is required performing the following test. Sufficient hand brakes must be applied necessary to prevent movement of the air brakes air release. An employee must be positioned on the ground near the locomotive to the single the employee performing the test when the air brake supply release on each of the locomotive units. Three, the brake supply is released using the brake applier and released using the independent brake valve. Brake supplies from the automatic brake pipe reduction. Depress the independent brake valve handle. See that the brakes release. Um, cut the automatic brake valve and check the brake pipe leakage for one minute. Leakage must not exceed five psi. With the generator field switch and the off position reverse in neutral, advance the throttle to the in th three initiate. The emergency application observed the following. Pneumatic control switch. Light illuminates. Brake cylinder pressure rises. Brake pipe pressure falls to 0 PSI. Engine reduces to idle. And after 45 to 60 seconds, place the automatic brake valve handle and release and recover. Locomotive apply and release test. The locomotive consists is made up of the locomotives that are added to the removed and existing consisting of the one with the change again the application release of the test for the locomotive brakes must be made in the following order. Ensuring that the brake pipe is set out set to the prescribed pressure, apply the independent brake valve fully uh, over the, observe the brakes as uh, apply on each locomotive. Release the independent brake valve, observe the brake release on each locomotive. With the equipment fully charged, bank a ten PSI brake pipe reduction, observe the brake supply on each of the locomotive, actuate the observed brake. Brake release on each locomotive. Reduce the brake pipe pressure and additional 10 psi. Observe the brake supply each on each locomotive. Release the automatic brake valve. Uh, automatic brake and observe the brakes is released on each locomotive. Your hybrid locomotive air brake tests are the GG20B um, green coat. So the, the green coat, uh, or the G, green goat. Sorry, the GG20B green goat does not employ the standard engine but rotate the generator as the standard power. For the traction motor, does not have an engine idle or unload. For therefore, therefore, the following operation undertaken in the testing air brake system: sufficient hand brakes must be applied with necessary to prevent the movement with the air brakes release. An employee must be positioned on the ground of a locomotive single to employ the performing of the, the test of the brake supply with release on each locomotive. Independently, is fully released and isolation switches run for reverses and forward. Throttle in position one, automatic in, in emergency. Observe the following. Computer screen shows the penalty or the p pneumatic control switch. Wait 60 seconds. The automatic brake valve and the continuous bell sounds and st bell should stop. Computer screen should read drive inact inactivated. Pressing and hold the emergency stop reset and mo move the reverser to center of the idle. Observe the computer to read the center. Rule 1 3 Light locomotive running. Air test. The engineer must perform an air test when the following takes place. Taking charge of the locomotive consisting of original made up of the tested by anyone other than a signed engineer. The controlling ending has the controlling ends have been changed. Exemption. Standing locomotive air brake test of the sheet. Rule 1 2 performed with the assigned engineer maybe instead of the running air test. Performed by the following task when in test is required. Release the independent brake valve, open the throttle sufficiently to cause the locomotive to move the cause. Close the throttle locomotive should roll freely if it does not check the for the cause and correct. Apply and release the independent brake valve while speed is slow is and speed reduction indicates the brakes and it has have been applied. With the independent brake valve with the release for the light automatic brake application pressure reduction um, press speed reduction indicate the brakes have been applied to press the press um, hold the independent brake valve with the release position ensure the brake cylinder pressure reduces to zero the locomotive should roll freely if he does not check for the cross open with the actuating hose. We when dead fix malfunctions are noted when they consist of that improperly Im improperly made up of the engineer must report the condition of the following the mechanical personnel of the supervisor on the FRA form six one eight zero four nine A or locomotive inspection repair record. Rule one four locomotive daily inspection supply form um, supply forms engineers must keep up with the supply form DOD form eight sixty two diesel inspection worksheet diesel electric locomotive and locomotive cranes the inspection is required each of the locomotive service must be inspected daily determine whether the locomotive needs inspected by checking the FRA form six one eighty zero four nine A located in the cab of the locomotive unit. Record the previous inspection. If the DOD form A62 indicates the locomotive unit was inspected the previous day, complete the current day inspection prior to the um, 
one till zero hundred hours of the, to allow the unit um, remain in service using the following criteria. If your tour of duty will go beyond um, eleven fifty nine p.m., you must perform an inspection prior to eleven fifty nine. Contact the train dispatcher yard and master or other property authority to determine the location of the complete completing the daily inspection. Do you no record of previous inspection? If the record indicates the locomotive was not inspected the previous calendar day, there is no record of the locomotive to inspect the locomotive the units before placing and service on the current day. Locomotive unit picked up uh, upon line. When the picking of locomotive unit line with the engineer must determine if the daily inspection is needed, the making the pickup of the working training units of the an earlier date within the lead unit and the tag of the leading unit trail units due inspection of the eleven fifty nine PM current day. Inspection requirements control compartment. The following conditions must exist in the controlling locomotive unit. Each age air, air gauge requires um, registers correctly with the three PS, uh, PSI required pressure. The main reserve pressure is between 130 to 140 PSI. The brake pipe pressure is uh, fit for freight. It's 90 PSI. Independent brake cylinder pressure is specified on the badge plate. If there's no badge plate, it is 30 PSI greater than when, 30 PSI greater when the independent brake valve is fully applied. Headlight, headlight function properly. Minimum one headlight must be on each of the locomotive unit. The horns function properly. The bell functions properly. Gauge lights, overhead cab lights function properly. Speed indicates function properly. Alert and if equipped function properly. Windows provide a clear view and uh, inspection requirements for the cab walkway engineering compartment. Following conditions must exist on all the uh, locomotive. The cab free stem, stumbling, snipping, slipping, tripping the hazards. No traction motor. Are cut out, standards are functioning properly. Walk away with the walk in compartments to clear debris and tools of accumulated oil and grease, handrails, hand holes, steps, ladders, and safety chains. And guards are scared with the ready for the surface inspect the broken and bent damaged loose for the equipment. The safety chains should be connected with the high enough for the safety gauge. Electrical rotating equipment guards are all in place. The hand brake is optional. Walk away engine is compartment like his light lights are working. Inspection requirements ground level. The, the handbrake is necessary inspection that exposes the area for the apparent defects, but do not crawl under or between the locomotives to make the visual inspection. Walk around both sides of the locomotive to ensure the following. Sand has been deposited on the rail in the proper location. No fuel leaks exist. No defects such as broken crack or missing parts exist on locomotive trucks, where wheels, gear cases, draft gears, brake cylinder piston travel adjust as the following. Minimum sufficient to provide brake chute clearance when brakes are released. A maximum one and one and a half inches less than the travel entered on form FRA form 618049A. The foundation braking rigging is secured. The brake shoes are secured with approximately in the right tread of the wheel. Make sure there's no obvious lips or overhangs of the shoe. No part of the electrical cable is lying on the coupler. Electrical cables that are not being used are stowed and disconnected in place with a dummy receptacle or multiple unit cable holder. The air hose uh, is usable. The manual drain oil and water from the main reserve. They're not equipped with the automatic drain. But they have to equip with the automatic drain to ensure the valve handles are then turned fully to counterclockwise to automatic position when the stem is stem extending beyond the valve handle. Completing the Department of Defense Form A62. If, if the defect of the problem non complying with the condition, the engineer must report the defects of the problem of the locomotive of the unit with a single D Department of Defense Form A62. Leave the completed form within the locomotive unless other units instructed. Department of Defense Forms A62 must be completed with the following inspection information as minimum date, location, time, complying, non complying, check, appropriate box, inspector, lead, legible signature. The engineer must verbally report any of the following conditions to train dispatch yard, master, or other proper authority. Defects for problem any non complying conditions. Complete inspection report card on the local, each of the locomotive unit. Non-compliant condition. During the locomotive daily inspection, the employee finds one or more of the non-compliant condition. The employee must determine if the locomotive is safe or to move. If it's safe to move, the non-functioning alert with a speed indicator may remain in the trailing unit. Other conditions. Is this locomotive then safe to move? The move that are only under one of the following conditions. As a single unit powered not, uh, to atta not attached to cars and consists with not attached cars, isolated shutdown when attached to the cars. Non-compliant locomotive unit required isolated shutdown. It consists may not continue with the control lead unit with the locomotive consists. Rule 1-5, non-complying tagging requirement. If, if it's safe to move, the non-complying non locomotive tag must be completely attached to the locomotive um, isolation switch for the non-complying locomotive the tag must be include the following information. The words not complying on the locomotive on the tag. The locomotive unit initial the number, the name of the inspection railroad, uh, the name of inspection location date, the name of the, of the defect, movement and restriction, if any. Designation, signature of employee, employee making the inspection. Secure copy of the tag um, control comes with the control locomotive of the engineer chart. The locomotive must receive the written notification of the non compliant locomotive of the unit complying with the non compliant locomotive tag meets its requirement. The engineer must inform all other crews in the non compliant locomotive of the unit if any restrictions. 
If it's not safe to move, the infant employee determined the locomotive is not safe to move. The notify of the train dispatcher, yard master, and other property authority also complete the non compliant tag. Um, attached to the isolation switch for the non-compliant locomotive, the tag must include the word non-compliant locomotive tag, locomotive unit's initial name, inspection railroad, um, name of the defect, signature of the employee making the inspection, rule, rule 16, non-compliant conditions en route, locomotive unit that developed the non-compliant condition en route may continue operating if the engineer or other qualified employee determines it's safe to move to complete the requirements outlined in rule 15, the locomotive unit may be operated until the next daily inspection required until it reaches the nearest point where repairs can be made, whichever but that occurs first, the engineer must do the following. Report any of the non-compliant condition of the FRA Form 61849A. They'll get, leave the completed FRA Form 61849A with non-compliant locomotive of the unit for the otherwise instructed report. Non-compliant condition for the train dispatcher yard master or the supervisor as soon as possible notify when possible relieving the engineer in non-compliant conditions. Rule 17. Movement of the locomotive within the locomotive surface of the track area. Before moving the locomotive of the unit, the surface of the track inspection must be made to determine the personnel are in safe position of clear movement the best known that all surfaces, hose, and cables, and other devices are connected with the locomotive units clear of the track before moving. The air brakes are operated. The employee is in charge of the air brake count system, but knows, knows, but must know that the air brakes operate properly before moving the locomotive. The following must be known. The brakes on each of the locomotive units, multiple units, consists of the applied release both independent and automatic brake valves are in, in the control cab. Brake cylinder pistons and shoes must move pro properly. The brake cylinder air gauge may indicate the air pressure change with the even through the brake air brake disable the cutout lock located at the truck. The coupling. When a coupling locomotive unit is checked to see that the um, brakes are applied, the handbrake is applied before coupling is made. After coupling stretch, the testing and coupling of each of the locomotive as it is added to see the knuckle is locked position. Uncoupling. When the cup uncoupling from the other locomotive, sufficient handbrakes must be applied on the unit's left standing. Wheel blocking. Where chocks and chains or, sk or skates are used to see that they are removed before moving. The dead engine. While well, within the shop of the dead end, the dead locomotive the unit may be moved over the, uh, under the direction of the mechanical foreman without cutting the dead engine feature. However, there must be an employee at the hand of the brake, and the brake is applied with the coupling is made with the test, and the handbrake must be applied before the dead locomotive the unit is uncoupled. Safety and stock within the shop. Um, when moving the locomotive unit with the diesel shop, the shop must be made with the enter. The shop doors may be open, but the properly secured engineer must sign with the proper whistle bell signal before entering the diesel shop. Movement may be proceed in shop track clearly, but the personal are in the safety position. Safety shot and stop must be made approximately 15 feet before reaching the end of the stall, completing the more to end of the stall speed of not more than one mile per hour. Locomotive unit must be secured by hand and brake. Operation beyond the terminal. Locomotive units will operate beyond the terminal must be the brake pipe multiple unit air hose properly connected between all the units that consist with the cutout cocks. Angle cocks must be open and required. A standing locomotive air brake test must be performed. See rule 1-2. Operation within the terminal. Locomotive units will operate with the terminal but beyond the several tracks of shop area that must be have the brake pipe properly connected between all the units. The locomotive that consists of the cab controls must be properly positioned with the movement. Application relief of the air brake must be made with the automatic brake valve on the controlling locomotive unit. An inspection must be made to see that the brakes are all the locomotive units apply and release properly. 1-8. Leaving the locomotive. An unattended, the brake level, the locomotive is unattended, but the engineer must know all the following tasks have been performed. Leaving the controlling locomotive unit. Before leaving the controlling locomotive, the unit must be positioned to ensure the securement is follows. Center of the reverse level to center to the reverser. Center of the reverse level to remove the handle, placing the proper holder. Then, if any control of fuel pump switch and the engine run switch should be turned on, if the unit is remain rem will remain running. The generator field should be switched off. The full apply fully apply the independent brake um, isolation switch should be in the start, stop, or isolation position. Scream it when the locomotive is running or shut down. After the handbrakes are applied, the independent brake and the automatic brake must be released to ensure the locomotive units will not move. The independent brake must be fully applied and automatic brake must be released if the locomotive is not coupled to cars. When the locomotive is coupled to cars, the air brake system charged with the sufficient automatic brake pipe. Pressure must be made. The lead tr the truck with the lead locomotive of the unit in the descending direction be must be chocked with a suitable blocking material. Cab doors, windows must be locked on the controlling locomotive unit. All right. C. Mechanical employees not on duty. When locomotive is left is to be left location where the mechanical process personnel serve the employee on the duty within in the uh, additional task rule listed rule one eight and B. The following tasks must be formed. Apply a handbrake on each locomotive unit. Cab doors and windows must be locked if possible on each locomotive unit. If it, if it, mu it must be protected within an un uncontrolled movement entering the main track in the descending direction. One following uh, one on the following. Place uh, place on the track derail protection from the nearest possible end of the derail. 
the sunny direction, place the track with the facing point while should be line locked, preventing the movement of the main track. Um, perceive the track that has ascending the grade insufficient in preventing entry of the main track. If unable to place a locomotive on the protected track, it must not be left unattended, uh, specifically authorized, uh, specifically authorized as by a supervisor. When an authorizer, when a handbrake will not be hold on the locomotive, one of the following must be due. Done. Locomotive must be coupled to a sufficient number of the cars on which the efficient handbrakes are applied to the prevent uncontrolled movement. A wheel of the leading locom a wheel of the lead locomotive unit in the descending direction must be placed on the rail skate and an electrical cable with the prototype properly stowed on the disconnected end is placed into the dummy receptacle of the multiple unit um, cable holder. Rule one nine locomotive shutdown procedure. When a locomotive is to be left on the for the over one hour, all locomotive units are to be shut down except for the following conditions. When the ambient temperature is below expected to drop below thirty degrees Fahrenheit during the rain or snow conditions when tagged it for bad batteries. When the locomotive is a couple to do the train and left on the grade over the percentage of, uh, over one percent of the controlling locomotive unit must be left idling to maintain main reserve pressure and train line pressure when locomotive local instructions specify otherwise. When required to shut down the engine of the controlling locomotive, the unit should be, um, is not to be shut down until it's known that the locomotive will not move only with the handbrake applied. A locomotive with the preserve the faculty inbound with the engine control the mechanically permitted personnel serve the track will determine the locomotive to be inspected within one hour. If the inspection is not to be made within one hour, if the employee is unable to contact the mechanical employee, the locomotive is to be shut down to preserve to conserve the battery when the locomotive is shut down, turn off all the lights, heaters, and the air conditioner on the electrical motive, motive, electrical motive to the diesel. Locomotive is equipped with the turbo charger. Do not open the battery switch. Turn uh, switch or turn off the turbo. Turn off the turbo lubrication oil per pump circuit breaker. Turn off the computer control circuit breaker. If equipped locomotives are not equipped with the turbo charger, shall have a battery knife switch opened. If the lead locomotive consists of less than 2,000 gallons of fuel remaining, notify the train dispatcher yard master that it, the end of the fact before leaving the locomotive is intended. If the leading locomotive is not running, the lead one of the trailing locomotive re running will serve to maintain the air supply of the train. Rule 110, picking up uh, picking up locomotive units. Before picking up locomotive units, ensure that they are properly secured with the coupling to them, and after the coupling, perform the ta following task. Stretch the, stretch the coupling, install the control cables, control the brake um, pipe and the multiple unit hoses, proper position, cutting out a cutout, proper position of the cutout and, and angle cocks, position end platform connecting safety chain, position cab control for the air brake for the intended service, perform the station locomotive air brake test, Move the end air rule. See rule one two. Remove the air, any wheel blocking material releasing the handbrake. Rule one to eleven. Rearranging the locomotive consists. Before cutting away from the locomotive unit that is being switched with the rearrangement consists. Perform the following task in table one one. Are your task uh, um, when the cut and control follow these and um, separating engines and consists cut out. Um, Cut in control switches. Engine running. Fully out of, apply independent brake. Engine running. Close end and, and, and angle cocks. Engine running. Engine dead. Safety safe, Secure safety chains and platforms. Engine running and engine dead. Safety control cable removal and air removal. Engine running and engine dead. Apply sufficient handbrakes before cutting away. Engine dead. No. Before proceeding, comply with the applicable locomotive air test and see rule 1, 2, and 1, 3. All right. Rule 112, operating from other than a leading locomotive unit. Little light locomotive, light locomotive consists of the must be operated with leading control within the direction of movement unless movement is less than one mile. No locomotive being controlled with the other from other than lead locomotive with the unit direction of movement that must not exceed 20 miles per hour. Rule 113, change the controlling ends. When the ends of the locomotive consist of the following steps, must be formed in proper sequence without delay. Cut out. Move an independent brake handle to the full application position. Make 20 PSI brake pipe reduction. Cut out the automatic brake valve. Cut out valve. Move the automatic brake valve in the continuous surface. Move the multiple unit 2A valve um, double ported. Cut out cock to trail or out position. Move the independent brake valve to the release position. Center the reverse lever and remove the handle, placing it in proper holder. Position the control fuel pump switch and generator fuel switch and the engine run switch into the proper position. Position the headlight, headlight control switch to the proper training handle position. No, proceed with the delay. Proceed without delay to the end, other end of the locomotive consists. Cutting in position with the control fuel pump switch and the generator fuel switch for the engine running with the switch to their proper position. C chart 1A. Place the independent brake valve handle in, the full, in full application position. Position the multiple unit 2A valve with the double ported cock, out cock leading in and leading uh, lead or in position. Move the automatic brake valve handle to the release position. 
After the equalizing reservoir wire pressure above the brake pipe pressure and pressure position, the automatic brake valve cutout valve in the free position. Insert the reversal level to remove the position. The headquarter headlight control switch in proper position with the controlling unit prep operation. Apply the applicable locomotive air brake test. See rule one two. Rule 114. Locomotive of the unit replacement. Locomotive of the unit being equipped with alignment with the control of the couplers and being held at the dead end of the train. It must be coupled behind the railroad locomotive. Locomotive of the units for the alignment controlling couplers being held in the dead end of the train must be placed on not less than five cars, no more than 15 cars from the rear of the train. If there are two such units that are handled in the same train, there must be a separate, separated place for them, not less than five cars between each other. Each unit, a locomotive unit must be held, handled, and the dead end of the train must be set up. Prescribed rules 116. 115. Isolating locomotive. The isolation switch must be in the run position on all locomotive units that consist except for the necessary isolation uh, units due to the mechanical failure. When locomotive units have been isolated for any reason, it must be watched closely, not permitted to remain in locomotive consistently unless they are to be determined all of these wheels will rotate fully, freely. 116. Dead engine setup requirements. When the dead of locomotive dead, dead locomotive units cannot be ha can, cannot be handled in working locomotive consist, they must be handled in the dead end dead end dead end dead end train controls must be positioned as follows. Automatic brake valve cutout, independent brake valve cutout, and the handle in the release position, main reserve drain, dead engine feature cut in, engine cut, uh, co engine cost actuating pipe, application release pipes must be open at a transfer level if equipped. Uh, off position, reverse level, centered and handled, removed, the generator field switch, off position, isolation switch with the start stop isolating position. All these switches must be turned off with the main battery knife. The switch must be open. Locomotive the units without alignment. Control couplers handled with the dead end train must be placed not less than five cars, no more than 15 cars from the rear of the train. To two such locomotive units that are handled with the same of the train, they must be separated by placing them not less than five cars between each of the locomotive unit. Locomotive units aligned with the control, control couplers must be handled with the dead end train must be coupled behind the road locomotive. All right, rule 117, locomotive in flat spots. Locomotive units having one or more flat spots that are two and a half inches in length adjoining, adjoining the flat spots more than two inches must be set out of the first available point. Speed must not exceed 10 miles an hour to set out, out point. point. 118, locomotive answer. The load and ammunition of the control council given them the two indications. The traction motor current, number two, the traction motor on average current, all traction motors in a single unit depending on the model year and wind and power. Dynamic braking grade current when the dynamic braking is equipped. If in the event of the load meter becomes inoperative, the minimum continuous rating locomotive that should be maintained approximately 10 miles an hour over the units operating with the full throttle short and time rating. The term used to describe the length of the time of the locomotive be operated with the various high amperage levels before the traction motor damage occurs. Track locomotive the damage designed with this and overloading operation conditions not exceeding the limits of the indicated load meter aisle. Load limit and the limit plate, plate, plate adjacent with the load meter greater the overload the further the pointer swings over the overloaded area less time the locomotive can operate with the traction motors overheating overheating will damage the insulation even though the non failure may occur at no no failure may occur at the time as resulting deterioration will cause subsequent failure plate near the load meter can call the short time run eight rating plate give the time of the limits operating locomotives at various level of the currents do not operate the locomotive at the level of the currency longer than plates indicate do not run the locomotive at more than one consecutive short time r r rate for the maximum time each rate for example, do not run a locomotive with a, with a, with a quarter an hour, a quarter of an hour rating at a, at a, for a quarter of an hour, then at a half hour rating for a half hour rating, then one hour rating for one hour rating. If the load reading exceeds the short time reading, ratings indicate the plate will then reduce the tonnage and double the train. Short time ratings are not cumulative. When adding the operation less than 20 minutes in the short time rating the, um, together, some of them must not exceed the light of the limits of the host restricted zone regional load motor point. Operation short time rate ratings 20 minutes or more I, I port, apart. Certain separate operations otherwise damages may be reduced by the train double their help must be obtained. 119. Reverser level. During normal operation, locomotives must be brought to a complete stop before moving the reverser level. 120. Ground relay. Perkett's device function with the preventing operation of locomotive in the event of the short circuit of ground electrical equipment is done to ensure the safety of the crew of the locomotive to prevent the damage of the locomotive itself. Manual ground relay. Locomotive of the units equipped with a manual ground relay may be reset with the preset. pressing the reset button on the lead unit with a ground relay trip that results in the following. Ground relay light will illuminate on the affected unit. The diesel engine will reduce the idle to, uh, to on an idle to affected unit. Alarm bell will ring when the locomotive consists. Uh, maximum reset allowed. 
The locomotive units equipped the traction motor cutout switch may be um, reset three times after the traction motor cutout switch must be used to uh, attempt to isolate the pro problem the traction motor. Once uh, one additional reset must be attached, may be attached, um, attempted to each traction motor cutout position. After which, the contracting personnel automatic ground relay reset. Locomotive units equipped with the automatic ground relay reset will attain. If the automatic reset of the 610 the second um, delay with the following ground relay, ground relay trips, four times the 12 minute, minute interval with the reset and the dot operate with the four time, the fourth time, the unit must be isolated. If the ground relay does not trip within 12 minutes interval, the device will start a new cycle of repeated ground relay tripping accompanied with the unusual noise. The, such as thumping, squealing may be indicated with serious traction motor trouble and, and may be investigated at once. A railroad crossing reducing the throttle when passing over the railroad crossing grade is always traction and amp motor amp to decay the safe level before mechanical shock occurs over the railroad crossing transmitted to motor brushes. To prevent from um, prevent traction motor fla flash over the ground relay action over the operating over the rail and crossing grade, um, reducing the throttle to number four position lower it until all the locomotive units have passed over the crossing. Report ground relay action. All ground relay action must be reported on the FRA form 6180498. In addition, any units isolated by because of the ground relay action must be reported on the train dispatcher yard or supervisor. Rule 121, overheated traction motors. Um, serious damage to electrical equipment will occur if the, if the locomotive is allowed to stand on the throttle open. If this is practice prohibited, overheating or seizing the traction motor and armature support bearing may result in sliding wheel indication. Overheated bearings should be investigated once during to determine whether the heat is the result of electrical difficulty, traction motor, mechanical trouble in the bearings. Or this show the um, traction motor figure one, the armature. Amateur bearing support bearing and the oil reserve. Ex examination must be include the wheel hubs, journal support bearings, armature bearings, pinion bearings, gear case, discoloration gear case, and they're around and around the bearings. And there are indications of excessive heat. Wheels may overheat and slide due to the back sticking in the brake with the rigging, binding or damaging the traction motor bearings, broken pinions, or pull gear teeth. The unit with the overheated traction motor superordering bearing must be set out. Rule 122, the wheel slipping pinion slip light. When the wheel slip flashes at the on and off stage on the continuous indicating difficulty sliding wheels, reduce the throttle and sand to the locomotive to reduce the wheel slip. Rule 123, diesel engine overspeed. Diesel engine overspeed protection is provided on all locomotives. Uh, units protection is provided on the sounding alarm bell with the shutting down the diesel engine should the diesel engine speed over become excessive to reset the diesel engine overspeed on the electrical motor to buy a diesel engine uh, unit. The uh, move the reset lever located near the sand engine governor control the clockwise counterclockwise until it latches on the general electric unit. Push the reset button near the governor or pull it and hold it lay shaft lay shaft for three seconds. Rule 124, an uh, electric motor to a diesel governor low hot oil reset plunger. The governor low hot oil reset plunger will trip underneath the following conditions. When lubricating oil pressure drops to a dangerous level below, lubricating oil pressure exceeds excessively hot. Damage will in engine will shut down. The governor shut down alarm. Alarm will come into the engine control panel when the governor resets the plunger tips when the falls occur. Isolation of the unit. Check the air compressor. Lubricating oil. Level in the air compressor, alarm light on, reset the governor, reset plunger, start the diesel engine, inspect the lubricating oil level pressure, which should be between 50 to 40 psi idle. The governor plunger also trips the kinetic junction um, with the tripping of the volume with the following protective device, the low water pressure crankcase, overhead pressure detector, compressor, low oil pressure detector. Note the engine oil governor reset plunger must be reset the maximum three times once additional reset may be accepted for each trip that results in the action other than protective of the devices. Rule 125, lower water reset button. The lower water protective device shut down with the diesel engine when the cooling water pressure is low, severely low. When it trips, the also cover the engine governor to reset the plunger to trip when the faults occur. Isolating the locomotive to check the cooling water level of the obvious leaks. Reset low, wa low water protective device. Reset the engine governor. Reset plunger. Start the diesel engine. While the engine is idling, examine the cool si cooling system for the proper water level and observe, the observe the leaks or proper cooling fan or shutting out, shutter and shutter operation. Note that the low water reset button may be re um, reset to a maximum of three times. The lower water reset button is located on the engineer side of the engineering compartment near the lay shaft. 
One twenty six. The crankcase crankcase overpressure detector. The crankcase overpressure overpressure detector device shall down the diesel engine with a gas pr um, produce the positive pressure for the crankcase to avoid possible crankcase explosion. Mechanical professional personnel must inspect the diesel engine and replace it in service if it is shut down due to the crankcase overpressure detector action. Do not no. Do not attempt to restart the diesel engine that has been shut down due to the crankcase overpressure due to detector action uh, attack action. All right, 127, the safety control device. The safety control device must be operated for the cut ox and switches the related to the switch the device. Such devices must be cut in and sealed during operation locomotive. If one of the devices listed in the mirror, real um, rule man fun malfunction device must be repaired and cut out by the mechanical per personnel employee. The locomotive unit must be switched to the trailing position on the consent of the report manual function of the train dispatcher, yard master, supervisor. Complete the FRA form 6188 and 49A. With the use of the method to alter and lessen defeat the proper purpose of the malfunction safety control device is prohibited. Locomotive overspeed. The purpose of the locomotive overspeed is to prevent, um, prevent serious damage of the traction motor armature with central figure force of the rotary, rotary armature resulting in the high speed. The gear ratio between the traction motor wheel governors maximum speed. Various class of locomotives may be operated with locomotive overspeed. Penalty of the brake application will occur. And the pressure control switch will open. The safety alert. The alert horn and assembly is sealed, but the seal is found broken. The report must be made with the mechanical person before leaving the terminal. If the engineer is not engaged in controlling the locomotive after an ellipse time of 30 to 120 seconds, horns, so the warning lights will become on. Due to the increasing intensity of 10 seconds, the engineer does not take action during this time. A penalty break application will occur. The mechanical control switch will open and prevent the penalty break application. One of the following actions must be taken before the warning period expires. Change the throttle position above the number two to depress the independent brake valve handle. Change the level of the dynamic braking sound. The locomotive whistle. Vary the power. Re vary the power reduction rheostat more than 50 amperes. If standing, apply the locomotive brake at least 25 psi by the alter manual reset button. The alerter will not function when the automatic brake valve is cut out with the alternator and strip that will be reset with recovering the penalty brake application. All right, rule 128, dynamic braking warning light. A, bra a braking warning light is located with the control council. This light will um, come on whenever the dynamic brake is overloaded. As the condition exists for the unit, the locomotive consists of when the engineer must reduce the dynamic brake equipment and immediately prevent the loss of possible jam of the motor. Reset the grid to assembly stay on. The desired speed cannot be maintained with the dynamic brake alone. Automatic air brakes must be applied with the conjunction with the dynamic brake. Uh, dynamic brake. Independent air brakes must be uh, kept released to avoid the sliding of the wheels unless otherwise provided with the locomotive must not be operated with a dynamic brake warning light lit. 129. Diesel engine cooling. Warning. You may be seriously burned while adding coolant to the water to a diesel engine if you are not carefully careful if you fail to read the water sight glass correctly. Our electric motor devices, um, locomotive unit. The cooling water is consistently circulated through the radiator. The holding tank of the radiator is always full with the water. The cooling is controlled with the cooling fans running of the dynamic ruling. Really running the air conditioner contactors are controlled by the engine temperature switch with the turning on of cooling fans to control the air reaction which shutters the engine so equipped. The water level sight glass usually the two scale with the two scale the two stop scale measure with the water level on the dead engine. The low scale will measure the water level on the running engine. Water is pumped out through the air with the compressor of the cooling through the temperature switch with the manifold temperature sensor. Manifolds respond to the water temperature change to operate with the cooling fans to shut off the fan blows the flesh air through the radiators the cooling water through the diesel engine. If normal operating temperature exceeds the high engine temperature sensor, sensor cause the real relay to be energized with the roof of the engine load and revolution per minute. Per minute, the hot engine light will come on and affect the unit. The alarm bell will ring throughout the locomotive. Consists engine air temperature is reduced to the safe level. The full power automatic restored on the unit. The, uh, the engine temperature sensor is at a hot light. light a hot light engine light will come on and affect the unit. The alarm bell will ring through the locomotive. Consists engine temperature becomes high enough to uh, turn the water steam. Water pump cavi cavitations can occur. The engine will shut down with low water button. By the low water button. Engine temperature is indicated by the dial gauge located on, one, on the suction line near the water pump. The must gauge with a cool color indicating cold, blue, and a normal green, red, hot. Your general electric locomotive. The GE radiators are divided in segments in its engine. The temperature change with the radiator segments filled with the empty increase with the decrease cooling with the water temperature decrease with the hot and water in the same. The radiator segments flush back into the water holding tank. 
If you remove the water with a pressure cap on the even with it's hot, and you expose yourself to the possibility that when you cool the water with the radiator, will flushing the hot water back into the holding tank, out through the fill spouts, and the action is extremely dangerous to anyone standing near the open fill spout. There are two water level sites of glasses, one on the deep side of the tank and one for the shallow side. The full at idle and low at idle marks on the side glass located in the shallow tank. When the engine is hot, look at the deep tank side glass. The badge... Plate will indicate the additional cooling water is required. Because of the filling and purging of the many radiator segments, if the engine is running hot, all the radiator segments are full and cooling water, leaving the tank lower at a lower level. This, this is normal. All right, caution. If you need to add water to the system, use the caution. Allow the engine to remain in idle for 10 minutes before adding water. When you are add, add cold water to and the hot water in the radiator segments rush, will rush back down into the holding tank. Protect yourself from burns. All locomotives may accurately uh, make accurate sight reading, sight glass readings when so, when so when so well equipped with the water fill hose and nozzle. If you remove the pressure cap on the cooling water tank, use extreme caution pressure. The relief valve must be used prior to removal of the cap. If you need to add the cooling system water, know your system. When filling the GE, but let be um, let the engine idle for 10 minutes before adding water. When using the water fill spout on the engineer side of the locomotive, be particularly careful of the standing well 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 clear of the filling spout. Caution, do not add water to the hot engine when the water is not visible in the water sight glass. 130, event recorders. Use any of the methods uh, method to alert, lessen, defeat. The purpose of an event recorder is prohibited. Chapter 2, rule, rules, rules for air brake tests and inspections.